The Odyssey team has been out to sea in search of high-value wrecks for 171 days now. Only weeks ago, Odyssey located one of the greatest shipwrecks ever, the legendary British warship HMS Victory. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> it's really something. But after the buzz comes the reality. It'll take time to turn their historic find into a payday. With Explorer operations running 35 grand a day, what Odyssey wants is another big find they can monetize immediately. So they're back to combing the western approaches to the English Channel. Odyssey calls it the Atlas Search Area. It's here. They hope to make a find that they can take to the bank this year. To be honest, yeah, a treasure chest full of gems and that, yeah, that would rock my boat right now, yeah. And while treasure chests may be in short supply, this area of the Atlantic is littered with all sorts of other containers, and some of them may yet yield millions. And you never know if it's a cargo that can survive the immersion in, in the ocean and, and the catastrophe that put it there in the first place, then uh, yeah, it could be something that's worth recovery. Shipping containers in one form or another have been around since the dawn of civilization. 4,000 years ago, the Phoenicians and the Minoans packed ceramic jars called amphorae with olive oil, wine, and other goods for trade. For more than 2,000 years, amphorae were the container of choice. Later, it was the turn of the wooden barrel. These containers would carry everything from silver and gold to beer, hardtack, and salted pork, and remained in use until the middle of the 20th century. But in 1956, everything changed when metal shipping containers became the new standardized method of transporting goods. Today, at any given time, between five and six million containers are in transit worldwide. And about 10,000 of those are lost overboard each year. There's a lot of cargo out there, and some of it is worth millions of dollars today. Odyssey's worldwide searches have turned up sites where dozens of containers went down. And here, in the Atlas search area, they've also found a wreck laden with barrels that could represent an unexpected payday. Yeah, I have to disconnect. It's a top secret wreck site. Odyssey is codenamed 21A. <laughs> The fact that an earlier visit revealed the site is littered with barrels piques the curiosity of onboard archaeologists Neil Cunningham Dobson and Hawk Tolson. I have to turn this into a teachable moment. Um, barrel, the term barrel refers to a liquid measure of 33 and a third gallons. So you don't use that to refer to the container. You say cask refers to the wooden kind of ovoid-shaped container, and they come in all different sizes. 